Philosophy and meditation. There is a vast difference between the two. The philosopher is always in turmoil and the mystic is absolutely silent and blissful. Philosopher leans towards the philosophy and the mystic his way is meditation. There are two ways to seek truth. One is mind that leads to philosophy and the other is meditation. If you choose the mind, you land in the world of philosophy. Then there are thousands of questions but no answers. Many times you will feel you are coming closer to an answer but when you arrive, you will find ten more questions hiding behind it. In philosophy, answers are only hiding places for many more questions. So each answer creates many more questions. And as philosophy has grown bigger and bigger, now it is nothing but questions and questions and no answers at all. It can drive a man crazy and in fact it does. It is very difficult to find a philosopher who is not crazy. If he is not crazy, he is not much of a philosopher and he is wasting his time. And he does not want to waste his time. A philosopher has to be crazy, otherwise who wants questions and questions? And to be surrounded by all kinds of questions, finally one gets lost in the woods of philosophy and finds no way to come out. Instead go through meditation. Meditation is just a positive mind. Meditation means no mind. Through meditation you enter the world of religion. Just as in the world of mind there are only questions, in the world of meditation there are only answers and no questions. Hence a person moving into meditation becomes more and more silent and sane. Indeed, Buddhahood is the ultimate sanity. This sanity is what we call wisdom. Then there are no questions left anymore. And because there are no questions anymore, you cannot say you have got the answers either. Because they are relevant only with the questions. Answers are relevant only when there are questions because when there is no question, there is no need for answers. One is simply silent. The philosopher is in turmoil. The mystic is absolutely silent. The philosopher tries hard but finds nothing. Mystic does not try at all and finds everything. The mystic says, sitting silently, doing nothing, a spring comes and the grass grows by itself. The mystic says, sitting silently, doing nothing, a spring comes and then grass grows by itself. The modern mind has not been able to understand the mystic. The mystic seems to be very alien to the modern mind. Just sitting silently, doing nothing, not even thinking. Then why are you sitting? The western approach or modern man is a mind approach. It is dominated by philosophy. Because of that domination, it cannot think that there can be any possibility of just being and doing nothing. No questions, no problems, 
and no thoughts. Just relaxing and resting in oneself. And in that rest, one arrives. One arrives at one's own innermost core. And that is where one finds the truth. Nowhere else can one find the truth. The philosopher searches everywhere but in vain. The mystic simply sits in his own home doing nothing and discovers truth. Lao Tse says that you need not even go out of the room. Wherever you are, you can discover truth. And all that you want, you can find inside. And he is absolutely right. Being initiated or being within the energy field of a master implies being initiated into meditation. So now learn to drop the mind. Pull the energy out from the mind and put it into meditativeness and silence. I do not give any answers. Instead, I only destroy your questions. In fact, I answer your questioning mind. That is what all masters do. I call that answering or response a device to destroy your questions and questioning mind too. When all your questions are destroyed and nothing is left in you, question or turmoil, all is found. In nothing, all is found. This is ultimate. Indeed, meditation is ultimate. Meditation leads to ultimate. Flowering.